How's it going Rogues Gallery? Today we have another Flesh and Blood video and I am incredibly pumped to open up some Crucible of War. I have not one here, but I have two sealed cases of Flesh and Blood Crucible of War that we're going to be opening up over the next like couple weeks or so. I was really debating whether or not I wanted to open up an entire case in a video and the last time I did that, they ended up being very very long and kind of difficult to edit if I wanted to do like card pricing and that kind of stuff. So for this time we're going to do half case. I'm going to open up a half case of this, um, so two booster boxes, and um, we're going to do like all the full editing, we're gonna do card pricing, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be a little bit shorter than, you know, that hour long monstrosity that we did before, but we'll have basically more videos and like higher quality videos, and they'll be kind of spread out over the next like couple weeks or something like that. So expect some flesh and blood content over the next like week or two. And because I have two sealed cases, hopefully, well, hopefully I got at least the legendary in here. I oh, mean, I'm really hoping to get that uh, diamond Gemini. That's really, really sweet. I also want to mention I bought these in particular from the Reaper game store. Um, really, really good pricing on these. They also sent me some promos and stuff, which I think is really cool. I'll kind of show you those once we get to like the top down view. And before we get started, I do want to give a quick shout out and kind of a nod to Jim from uh, Fab TCG Cards. Dot square site. The dude's super cool and he also gave me a promo code for all y'all to use if you want to go check out his website. They do flesh and blood singles. I'm pretty sure they have some Crucible of War up there and he did give me a promo code. Like I said, I think it's 10% off your entire order. Let me see what it was. Yeah, it's just Red Zone Rogue. It's good for 10% off orders through October 1st. So yeah, if you want to pick up some flesh and blood singles, check out fabtcgcards.squarespace. I will have a link in the description down below as well as that promo code. But without further ado, let's just get into these cases. I'm super excited. Well, the first half of the first case. Let's do it. All right, Crucible of War. I am super stoked. We're gonna be putting any sweet pulls we get in these pristine brand new Dragon Shield petrol mat sleeves. And speaking of which, I already put the promos that I got in these. Um, I believe they sent these out to almost everyone who ordered cases. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but uh, I'm fairly certain that the Reaper Game Store sent these out to a lot of folks. They sent uh, one of each of all of the foil um, heroes from the original Welcome to Wraith set. Very cool. Look at that Rhinar there. And then as well as this um, promo Blessing of Deliverance. They all came in this nifty little, uh, you know, hard plastic container, but we're going to set these all off to the side. And they also sent me some of the Ira welcome decks, which is a super cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I might keep one sealed. I might end up giving one away. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to give one away maybe in one of these upcoming, um, you know, case openings or half case openings. And speaking of which, we have our Crucible of War English. Oh man, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. So we're going to cut the seal here and we're going to get just right on into it. We're gonna pull the boxes. I think I'm gonna open up the bottom two. You know, there's nothing quite like opening up a factory sealed case for yourself. Oh man, look at the majesty. Look at the majesty there. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, you know, eat these out. Not really eating, but uh, yeah, dump them out, flip them over. And like I said, we're gonna do the bottom two. So let's remove the top two and we'll get on with this. Oh man, look, I'm so stoked. I'm super pumped. Once again, really hoping to get some excellent pulls here, but you know, I'm going to be happy with almost anything. I have a total of 10 boxes. So I have these boxes here, these uh, eight boxes that you've kind of already seen. I, you know, I kind of showed off the two cases, um, but I also bought two additional boxes, one of them for my patrons. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon and um, every single month, depending on what tier you have, I send cards to you. Uh, currently, Flesh and Blood is my most popular game for there, but um, I could do any card game on my channel. We cross Flesh and Blood, Force of Will, and all you have to do is be like, I want to sign up for the card tier where I send you a random card, or the booster pack tier where I send you random booster packs, and Crucible of War is the set that I will be sending you out from here until Monarch comes out, which is the next Flesh and Blood set, and, you know, we're not going to beat around the bush. We're going to get right into these. We're not going to spend too much time on the common, like, tech... Tekalo Vassin's Workshop, Emerging Dominance. But we're gonna go over these a little bit slower for the first video. Oh, look at that, we got, we got a little chicken katsu. We got this uh, route. Dude, it's just kind of like in the middle of the pack. Yeah, interesting. I love the art on this rousing ether. Increase tension. Also, yo, Rangers finally got their ballista. We got a Zephyr Needle Rare. Sweet, pretty, pretty nice. Starting off with a rare weapon. 
followed by a crane dance rare very cool interesting you know shout out to dm armada for spoiling these cards and then a foil combustible courier <laughs> what what an unfortunate title so yeah we'll put the rares man i'm not sure how we're gonna do this put the rares there the regular kind of foils there and kind of set off set everything off to, else to the side we'll put we'll put all the like really chase pulls down here probably all of the i don't know i don't know it depends on the, like the pull rates on like the majestics and the foil majestics um but yeah got swing first think later hit and run there's a lot of really sweet cards in this set flying kick i love all the ira art by the way another combustible courier brutal assault got a rune chant token single sided is a rare rock slide trap i think the traps are actually very cool yo got high speed impact got your hero landing excellent and then a foil quicken token that's pretty cool i really like the foil tokens honestly you know they've added everything in here to kind of like juice up your game so you can kind of foil everything out if you want to foil everything out and i would not be unhappy with either of the legendaries you know getting another spring tunic would be great I mean, I already have a Welcome to Wraith tunic. Yo, I love the art in this one. Um, I've seen this art before. Was this in the Ira deck? Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, choke Slam. I love the the name. It's it's a freaking Choke Slam. We have Swing First, Think Later again. Uh, Pathing Helix is a pretty cool card. We have a rare Barraging Bighorn. Um, very interesting card. A Pitfall Trap, another trap, and then we have a Foil Meet and Greet. Dude, look at the foiling on that. Excellent. That is a foil common. So the first couple packs, not a ton of spice, you know, no majestics. There are no more supers in this. So if you haven't kept up with the spoilers or anything for the set, they got rid of supers and they just made everything majestics. So it's either common, rare, majestic, or if you're lucky, you can get something higher. I love the art in this one too. Consuming Volition. Um, yeah, little, uh, little monka. We have Flying Kick. Nice. Uh, I was going to say something, but I was like, ah, I don't know what to say. Yo, Zen Stay. Once again, shout out to DM Armada for that. Uh, oh, dude. Okay, here we go. Our first Majestic uh, Vizier Tronic Model I, Model 1. Love it. This is the Mechanologist uh, Majestic. Really sweet. And then a Foil Swing First, Think Later. So we'll just put this one down here. Put that down there. Um, and we'll put all the Majestics down here, I guess. I think there's going to be probably six probably six to eight per box if i had to guess because they take the slot of the supers and usually get like four to six supers if i remember for the other sets sutcliffe's research notes marshall sutcliffe uh magic the gathering reference uh push forward Ooh, dauntless i really like this card like quite a bit um definitely putting this in my uh my uh warrior decks we have a towering titan also rare oh dude this is a really sweet one first of all this is some of the key art. Reinforce the line. Let me see if I got my my lighting set up to maximize the the shine here. I mean that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good there. Um, target defending attack action gains plus four defense for zero. That's a very interesting card. We're gonna put the foil rares. I don't know, right on, right on top of her face. We'll just put them right there. That's that's good enough. All right, I, I kind of adjusted my light a little bit more. I think it's more or less the same, but we shall see. It's kind of weird having these packs be so small, to be honest. They, they just don't feel as thick. Love the art in that. Brutal Assault. Predatory Assault. This is just the all assault. So we have this high speed impact rare. Once again, hero landing. We have a rushing river. Beautiful artwork. Absolutely astounding. That'd be a really nice, like, uh, you know, wallpaper for your desktop. Oh, dude, Foil, Cavdane, Traitor of Skins. Oh my god, look at his face. Look at his, like, cheeky, glowing face. I love it. Absolutely love it. Definitely want to get all of the new heroes uh, in Foil. I would not be surprised if that card is worth a couple bucks. And by a couple bucks, I mean, maybe like 10? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how rare they are, to be honest. I mean, it's just a rare, but I know they kind of short-printed cards you only need one of. At least that was their intent, so... We'll see. Blessing of Serenity. Beautiful. I mean, the artwork, the quality in Flesh and Blood is always just astounding. Overblast. I got another Teclo Plasma Pistol. Yo, one of my top favorite cards of the set. Mavrian Skies. Followed by, okay, all right, I'll take a Skullhorn. I do like Skullhorn. I don't really play Brute, but, you know, I want to get at least one of each of all of these Majestics. So, 
We have a foil salt the wound. Holy crap, dude. Look at that art. You can kind of see the eyes a little bit foil. Yeah, that's super cool. Super, super cool. Cool. So we got the skull horn. So we're two for two majestic equipments. That's, that's not bad. You know, that's not bad. I will definitely take the majestic equipments. And I will note now I have never pulled a fabled flesh and blood card. So I got eight boxes. Eight boxes. Maybe we can get there. We have Cindering Foresight. Ooh, another Dauntless. Love this card, once again. And we have a Foil Seismic Surge. Nice. I mentioned it before. Really, really going to want to get all of like the Foil tokens. Yo, I really want a bunch of Foil um, Rune Chants. Because Rune Blade, Arc Knight, whatever you want to call it, I like Viscerai. It's one of my favorite decks. Um, in fact, it's one of the only decks I have not converted over into a Blitz. Snapback. Love, love the art on that one. Riled Up. Sleep Dart. We have a Sledge of Anvilheim. Very interesting. Six attack is pretty sweet, but four resources is like, mm, I don't know, man. We have a Find Center Majestic Ninja Attack Action. Very cool card. Very sweet. And then we have a Foil Sleep Dart. That looks like it's going to do more than put you to sleep. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you, it looks like it's going to be a little bit more painful than just putting you to sleep. It's like, I'm going to put you to sleep just right, right into your chest. Right into your... Uh, I forget what the... Plexus? I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know things about uh, anatomy. Emerging Dominance. Foreboding Bolt. I went to school for film. I did not go to school for biology or anatomy. We have Towering Titan. Ooh, Mandible Claw. Love it. We have... Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Yo! Foil. Gorgonian Tome. Oh my god, dude. This is... Hold on. I said I had sleeves. What did I... Hold on. Let me let me sleeve some stuff up. I just this reminded me. Okay, so I've decided to sleeve up any of the foil rares or higher, including non-foil majestic. So we got our Visitronic model, skull horn, fine center, and of course, this freaking Gorgonian tome foil. Wow, that's it's gonna be hard to beat that card for for this box. That's an insanely good pull. Like absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I got that. Uh, I, I'm really, I really love multiplayer formats and card games, and so this is this is a really, really good one. Once again, one of my top favorite cards of the set. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend checking it out. Oh, yo, we got Ira. Nice. We'd love to get a foil Ira. <laughs> yo, we got Reinhardt. All right. We got a Promise of Plenty, and we have a Dread Trapinch. Yo, another Majestic that I'm really looking forward to getting. Um, Toss a coin to your Witcher. Uh, Dread Trapinch. Nice. And we have a Foil Increase the tension so yeah this will get a sleeve we're gonna be like i said putting in all of the foil rares or higher into sleeves now very very cool i do it for all the japanese card games that i do and i'm like why don't i do it for like like flesh and blood i should do that for flesh and blood the cards are like incredibly valuable at least some of them can be very valuable oh you know, bravo showstopper second card in i love how they just they're literally just commons like they don't have their own slot like crucible they, they just have their own slots Yo, beautiful rousing ether. No, another reinforced the line, but this is the yellow pitch version. Got another majestic. No, dude. Spoils of war. I gotta say it, man. What's our foil? That's gonna be foil common. Ooh, out for blood. Awesome looking card. All right, man. We're just we're on the majestic train here. I have seen some folks open up boxes and get the fabled and a legendary in the same box. I would lose my mind. I would actually just go nuts. I'd go insane, dude. I would go crazy. That Shiana or Shiana, easily my most wanted flesh and blood card. Like a million percent high speed impact, barraging bighorn, and then a predatory assault. Yo, look at that. Look at those shiny teeth, dude. He brushes. You know he brushes. Uses that, uh, what is it? Not Colgate. What's the one that like is really good for teeth whining? I don't know, man. I don't know. Consuming volition, all I can think about. Is flesh and blood now overblast blessing of serenity and i know like there's less cards per pack and whatnot but i'm opening so many boxes yeah we got benji nice um nice so we got benji barraging bighorn and then a foil push forward dude really awesome look at that art so sweet i'm gonna end up with so many commons i'm probably gonna end up with, like way more rares than i need as well which is why the foil rares are actually gonna be really nice those are the ones that are gonna make 
that they're really going to stand out in my collection. I'll probably sell most of the extras of the others, but probably, I mean, I will. I usually sell them on my, uh, my eBay page, you know, to support my channel. Got Dauntless, once again, love this card. Promise of Plenty. And then we have a Foil, oh my god, dude. Two Foil Majestics. Foil Mangle. Holy, just look at this. Look at this brutal card, dude. Absolutely brutal. I just reached into the, the box to pull another pack while I was still holding this. Yo, really nice. Really, really nice. This is this is a blast, man. Such good, such good pulls, too. So what am I what am I really hoping for? I mean, other than the shapeshifter, what am I really hoping for? Anything on oh, what's up, Viscera? Anything on my top top ten, to be completely honest. Most of them are we got a crane dance. Ooh, another mandible claw. That's two. Is this the other artwork for it? I don't know. We got a foil emerging dominance. Dude, look at that radiance. The absolute radiance. Hold on. We got to see if that's the other. Oh, it is the other. Nice. Very sweet. Um, unfortunately, I did sell a couple of my higher end brute cards. I had a foil um, barraging. I had a foil like uh, the majestic um, specialization one. I can't remember what it's called. Is it Blood Rush Bellow? I don't remember what it was, but I sold it. Kind of regret it now, but I'm probably going to pick up um, the second print run of Welcome to Wraith to kind of fill out my collection. We have Cindering Foresight as a rare. We have another Dauntless, and then we have a Foil Barraging Bighorn. That is a Foil rare. It gets a sleeve. I love Kavdane. It's just kind of chilling back there, biding his time with that head on the wall, dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the... Um, Mechanologist one. Yo, Foil, Oriana. Her name's not Oriana. It's a League of Legends reference. But Foil, Robot Lady. Yo, what's up, Azalea? Classic. Uh, I'm, I'm all in. We've got Crane Dance. Ooh, another Mavrian Skies. Excellent card. And a... Oh, dude, Cold Foil. Zephyr Needle. Yo. Okay, hold on. Look at the Cold Foiling. Yeah, super sweet. It's a one-hander. You, you need to get two. So we did get... Two foil majestics here, really good ones, and then we also got this foil zephyr needle as well. Um, it, it gets to come down here. Any cold foils, they they get to live in the place of honor, you know. They they do not get relegated to the the foil rare pile, though. You know, there's nothing wrong with the foil rare pile, you know. It's uh it's all acceptable. Man, soul beat strike, love the art, man. I really hope this game lasts, like. Years, man. Years and years. Towering Titan. Ooh, dude. Talishar, the Lost Prince. This is one of the only weapons that freaking uh, Cavdane can even use. Because it's like, what is it? The only only generic weapon right now? Yeah. Yo, foil rare. Hold up, hold up. The art. Look at that dude. He's getting absolutely annihilated. Reminds me of the classic disintegration artwork from Magic the Gathering. You know, that skeleton. Just being, he's just being skeletonized, man. That, man, what a, what a way to go. <laughs> what a way to go. Hopefully it's so quick that it doesn't matter. We're getting dark here. I mean, Flesh and Blood's not, like, the brightest game, to be honest. I mean, come on. You, you saw that foil mangle. Dude has a, you know, he's been poked through the head. A little bit, a little bit more than poked, if you know what I mean. Rousing Aether, got Chokeslam. Love Chokeslam. We have a uh, rare Reinforce the Line. Promise of Plenty, Valley, Valley of Plenty, and a Foil Bittering Thorns. Yeah, with Ira. Once again, love, love seeing me some Ira. Likes me some Ninja Girls. Kunoichi, I'm down. You've seen my other content on my channel. You've seen all the Japanese <laughs> card games I open. You, you gotta, you gotta expect that. You know, you gotta know that that your uh, <clears throat> that your dude loves some ninjas. Yeah. That's what happens when you try to say, like, two things at once, by the way. Promise of Plenty. Oh, dude, Edge of Autumn. Nice. Very cool. Followed by a foil. What's that? Is that a print dot? Hmm, we're going to look at that in more detail. Foil Rousing Ether. First of all, just, oh my god, dude, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let's kind of zoom in on this. I think it's a print dot. Yeah, dude. Just a print dot. Huh. Very interesting. I've seen some like misprints and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I've seen some crimping. That's where like the 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 machine that uh, crimps these right here 
puts it right over the top of the cards. So I've seen some crimped cards. I've seen some, honestly, like really scuffed cards. Uh, hopefully we don't run into that. You know, hopefully we got a good batch. We got a, got a good, got a good eight boxes here. Well, plus the other two that are, you know, still on their way from a local store. Uh, speak, speaking of that, I bought it from Gong Guy Games in uh, Beaverton, Oregon. High speed impact. Ooh, cash in. First time I've seen this one. Nice. Well, I mean, I've seen it, but the first time I've pulled this one. And a foil, beautiful soul bead strike. The foils look very dark. I mean, I'm not complaining. They look they look very cool, but they look, they look pretty dark compared to um, the other sets that I've done. We have two more packs for the first box, and then we're just going to jump right in to the next box. Um, you know, there's always hope for legendaries, always hope for majestics, but it wouldn't be insane if I pulled that in my very first box. Okay, we're going to get legendary this pack, fabled next pack. So this is Tripwire Trap. Absolutely, absolutely brutal. We have Fain Death. Oh, dude, another Majestic. Nice. And then we have... Oh, it's common. Okay. Ooh, Out for Blood. Nice. All right, what's the Fain Death? Classic World of Warcraft Hunter Strat. Pretty good. You know, I'll take it. As many as Majestics as I can get, and as many M's, I will take them. I love the Majesty. Gotta get the Majesty. And for the next box, we're gonna go slightly quicker over the commons. Uh, though I've, I've kind of like sped up already here. A snapback. Increase tension. We have a rare Dauntless. Ooh, another Majestic. Stamp Authority, one of my favorite cards of the entire set. I love this card. Super, super cool. Ooh, we have a foil rare. Ooh, high speed impact. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful superhero landing. So we'll get we'll get a couple sleeves for these. Um, very nice. Very, very nice. I would I would recommend Dragon Shield sleeves, by the way. Um, if you don't want any, like, character sleeves. If you don't care about, like, how the sleeves themselves look. So, just kind of a quick breakdown of this box. We got two foil Majestics and then, what, seven non-foil? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. And they also got this Zephyr Needle. I mean, I can't, I can't believe we got foil Gorgonian Tome right off the bat. That's so nice. So nice. So, what we're going to do is I'll probably put these in their own little pile, um, and then we'll continue onward with um, the other one. I don't know where I'm gonna set these though. I kinda want them on screen a little bit so we can kinda kinda get a little bit of where, where we've been at. Here, we'll do that. We'll just keep adding to these piles. All right, so we're on to our second box of case one. I'm probably gonna film the next bit immediately after, but it'll give me time to edit them individually, and I can get these out a lot quicker. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like the intro bit, to the next part, I might just do, um, just jump right on in to the box because you've already seen that part. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, um, but I know I'm really excited to get into more packs, dude. All right, here we go. We have a hit and run. I don't know if I want to just blaze through the commons because there are some like interesting commons. Um, yeah, I've not seen any cracky bobbies. Where's yo? Where are my cracky bobbies at? We got a, a cindering foresight. That, that's rough. Another barraging bighorn, and then a foil meet and greet, dude. Foil meet and greet, dude. If you have opened up any of these packs before, let me know your luck down below. Typically, my luck isn't like the best, though. I mean, I I did get a, you know, spring tunic, and I did also pull uh, a foil enlightened strike in my very first box. So I guess my box, my luck is pretty good. Yo, another rousing ether. This one does not have the uh, the print mark. Hmm. Oh, the print dot. What do you want to call it? Print dot. Print mark. Uh, I can definitely tell them we're going to end up with a ton of the same rares, which is cool. Like I said, uh, I might sell them. I just end up with like a, a ton of them. A lot of the rares honestly don't sell for very much because you get two per pack. Um, love Dauntless. Love it. Ooh, haven't got this one. Oh, it's a Majestic Flood of Force. Beautiful. Oh my god, dude. Look at that art. Yeah, excellent card. And a foil choke slam, Yo, let's go. Foil Choke Slam. First Majestic Flood of Force. Love it. I'll take it. That that and foil would be great. But I'd love to get some foil uh, Majestic equipment, though. We got two Majestic equipment in the last box. I really want the armor pieces. The Skeleta and the Warrior one. Those are the two I'm really aiming for the most. Um, we got Reinforce the Line. We got a Cash In. We got a Foil Lunging Press. It's rare. Huh, interesting. I think this is one of the cards that's in the Ira deck. But getting a foil version is pretty cool. Yeah, this is very interesting. Here, we'll set this 
put right over uh, right over her face. Yeah, very, very interesting. Hold on, hold on. We we need to we can do this better. We can we can we can sort this a little bit better. We'll scoot that over a little bit. There we go. That's looking good. Feeling feeling comfortable. Let's continue continuing on. Man, I should have got like a a coffee or something, man. I can tell I'm just gonna want to plow through all as many boxes as I can in one sitting. Got this snapback. Ooh, Centauri Saber. Really nice. Oh, dude, Kasai, how could I forget? We need to get, whoa, double weapon pack. Triple weapon pack? Oh, uh, no, ooh, it is a foil rare, though. Foil Dauntless, love it. Yo, I forgot about Kasai, dude. I need a foil Kasai. I need it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't really need it, you know, but it would be nice. It's on my list for sure. We, had, we already got that Cavdane. Um, yeah, dude. Yeah. So, let's keep going on. M Mosian. Is that rare? No, no, no. A Rock Slide Trap as a rare. We got a Valley of Plenty, followed by an increase. The tension. The intention. The tension increases, you know? It's a tense moment. Tense moment, and you just got to release. Get a, get a nice little break, you know? Let. Share the load. We have a Brutal Assault. Predator Assault. We got a, just d back to back assaults. All assault, all the time. Salt the wound, another uh, hero landing, another big old. It looks like a Kodo, man. Looks like a, whoa, foil stamp authority. Yeah, here we go. Foil majestic. Probably gonna be getting two per box, judging by that. Maybe it's like, maybe you get like two majestics plus a cold foil, or maybe it's like three majestics. One of them could be a cold foil. I don't know, man. I don't know, I'm sure a lot of folks have already opened up their packs. I saw, I saw y'all New Zealanders open up your packs and I'm like, yo, I'm super jelly. Let me get to my packs. Ooh, got a snag. Very interesting tech card. Very interesting like silver bullet card. Um, for cost of zero, three pitch. It says action cards can't gain attack from their own effects or the effects of attack reaction cards this turn. Really good. You know, stomp out those pummels. Another foil rousing ether. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. That's three. That is three foil rousing ethers. You can get a full playset going on. Yeah, really nice. I, I like Snag. I don't know if it's going to be one of the high-end cards. I think Coax of Commotion is going to be a really nice one. And obviously that Gorgonian Tome that I got is going to be a is going to be a big one, especially the foil version. I would not be surprised if that's going for like thirty bucks or more. Towering Titan, maybe even more than that. Crane Dance, and we have a yo, dude. Whirling Mist Blossom. This is an Ira specialization. It's a common. It's beautiful. I want to get as many foil specializations as I can. Um, I know it's common. I'm still putting it in a sleeve because I really like that card. And also, um, it seems pretty rare. I haven't gotten. Maybe I'm just you know skipping over it. Maybe I've gotten a bunch of them, but that's the first one I've seen. At least that I've remember seeing. Anyway, I need as many specializations as I can in foil because I'm gonna make a Shiana deck, dude. One way or another. Ooh, Mavrian Skies. Need these. Need nine of them. One of or three of each. Cindering Foresight, and then we have Aw oh, dude. Here we go. This is our Cold Steel Centauri Saber. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah. Very sweet. Once again, Cold Steels. Get to hang out with the Majestics. That's how it is. I don't make the rules, man. Well, I mean, I do, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna leave it there. <laughs> yeah, they just do. That's how it is. That's how it be. They're, they're, they're awesome enough to hang out with the big boys. You have another Rushing River. Beautiful card. A Reaping Blade. This is our first Reaping Blade. Very sweet card. I don't know if I'm gonna replace this with, um, uh, the other one, the Nebula Blade, but I think it's pretty good. Ooh, Foreboding Bolt. Common. Hmm. Beautiful common, dude. For being a common... It's quite nice. You know what? Ira, your spec can go over there. Yeah. As I just throw this freaking pack at the pile of rares. They can take it, man. They can take it. Those rares are all now heavy played. Wanting to sell rares. Heavy heavy played condition. Oh, there we go. Another whirling one. You know, maybe it is more common than, than I thought, but it's still super cool. We have, uh... Ooh, Cavdane. Non-foil Cavdane. We have a reinforce the line and then a legendary. Nah, foil choke slam. That's kind of legendary. It's a choke slam, dude. It it's a choke slam. 
Now all we need is like a pile driver and we need a dude that looks like the Undertaker, like <laughs> pile driving. Uh, who, who would be a good character to pile drive? I don't know, Cavdane. It'd be pretty pretty funny to look at. Uh, Whirlwind, Miss Blossom, another one. There we go. Got a full got a full playset. Another Zephyr, ne Zephyr Needle. Not foil, though. Ooh, another Spoils of War, dude. Second one. On our way to a full playset. Followed by a Reinforce the Line foil rare. Really, really good pack. I think my camera might have cut out there. If there's a weird edit, that's why. Uh, it can only record up to so much before it just auto, auto stops. Like 30 minutes or something. But yeah, really cool. And really nice spoils of war, dude. That's my that is my uh, second one, I think. I wonder how hard it's really gonna be to get a lot of these, um, a lot of the majestics here, because I know they said they they want to short print a lot of the ones that you only need one of. So like the equipment and uh, the Gorgonian tome, because that's legendary. By the way, got a got a skeletonizing. Yo, here we go. Speaking of, we got Metacarpus node. Really cool. Followed by... Oh, dude! Foil Ira! Okay, this pack is awesome. Super, super awesome. Ira's a common. Look at her eyes, dude. She gets a sleeve. I don't care what you say. Ira and her spec get foil sleeves. Super cool. Super, super cool. And obviously, our Metacarpus node also gets a sleeve. Yeah. Add it to our collection of equipment. Man, I... Flesh and Blood such a sweet game. It's such, a, it's such an excellent game. All right, here we have Four Boating Bolt, Out for Blood, Consuming Volition, Bittering Thorns, Choke Slam, Flying Kick, Combustible Courier, that's rough. Got a Rushing River, Barraging Bighorn, and then a Brutal Assault. Very dark on this card. Yo, look at the foil on the dude's like cranium. Got a foil, foil dome piece. Sort of like maybe, I don't know, like two-thirds through the box. These packs open quite easy, I do have to say as well. Crush the weak. Another, another, another Nebula Blade. Maybe it was our first Nebula Blade. I was just talking about Death Dealer. A Harmonized Kadachi. Or Harmonized Kadachi. Very sweet. We have a High Speed Impact. And a Foil Snapback. Looks amazing. Any of the Wizard Foils continue to look really, really good. Um... I got, I got, you know, my hopes up for Wizard. I mean, maybe that's not the way to put it. I have a lot of hopes for Wizard. I hope it becomes a really good class because it's such an underdog right now. Maybe it's because it's like too complicated. Maybe because there's not, you know, the right cards. Yo, another high speed impact. And another Mavrian Skies. Nice. Followed by an Overblast. You know, the Mechanologist foils look awesome too. Anything with like lightning and big, big splashy magical looking effects. Foiling looks amazing. We have a combustible courier, push forward. That and foil would be awesome too. But, you know, instead of that, it would be cool to get a legendary. How about that? We have a KO Berserker Runt. Berserker. Followed by an Ether Conduit. Nice. We're getting a lot of the cards we need. Getting a lot of these uh, one ofs. And then a foil reinforce the line. Is this the second foil reinforce the line that we've gotten in this box? I think it is. I think it is. Very, very cool. Still have a lot of hopes. These are the bottom two boxes of that case, by the way. And I will try to get these cases out, or these two videos out, very close to each other. Um, but we we shall see. We shall see. We have Towering Titan. Yo, Twinning Blade. Okay, I have seen the full art Twinning Blade. It is gorgeous. I kind of forgot that it exists. We have... Oh my god! No way! No way, dude! Um, okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is the foil full art twinning blade. You know what? First video for Crucible of War. It couldn't be better. I got a foil Gorgonian tome and this full art foil twinning blade. This thing is going for so much money right now. I will probably not sell it because I love it. And uh, I need these for my warrior deck. And this is awesome, dude. Look at that. I've heard tales that this is rarer than some of the uh, than some of the other like really chase pulls and then like the legendaries. So I, I don't actually know, but oh my god, dude! <laughs> oh my god! Once again, let's take a look at this. Holy shit, dude! I think that's uh, 
try not to swear on this channel, but dude, 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 dude. I think that's worth a good chunk of change. We got Crane Dance. We got a Barraging Bighorn. Sleep Dart. A casual little Sleep Dart. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. We, we got a couple more packs. We got a couple more packs. Um, so maybe that does count as our Foil Majestic, because we already had the one. We got the, the Stamp Authority. Dude, we're getting all the good ones, man. We're getting all the good ones. We got a Copper. We got a Dom Blade. Uh, Tech Levasa's Workshop. Dude, I... I can feel it. These these boxes are spiced. They're they're spiced rum, dude. We have a reinforced line and then a soul bead strike foil. We got a few more packs here. Um, we got three more, and then you know expect the next video in a few days or so. Uh, I I am pumped. I am pumped to see what we get. Uh, yeah, mm, cards look a little bent or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we'll see how they are, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, we got Mavrian Skies, ooh, Massacre. This card is incredibly brutal, just absolutely brutal. Um, just there's just guts everywhere. He's just holding it above his head, you know. Yeah, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. We have a foil common hit and run, nice. So meat's back on the menu, boys. Gets a sleeve as well. I'm going to come up with nicknames for almost all these cards as we go on. It's kind of something I do. So, you know, can look forward to that. Whether you, <laughs> whatever, whatever your opinions on that. Got a flying ninja kick. It's the bread and butter of any new player in fighting games. You just jump and press heavy kick. Jump, heavy kick, bread and butter. We have rushing river. Beautiful. High speed impact. Also beautiful. And then another foil rousing ether. Dude, <laughs> I, I really am going to get a... A full playset. Okay, so that's the last pack of this video. Um, yeah, dude. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the freaking Twinning Blade, dude. Like, we still have one more pack, though. Let's not sell it short, because we got a tunic in here. If we have a tunic, if we actually have a tunic in here, I, yeah, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, so we have triple. I'm, I'm like, hyping myself up for, like, no reason. Promise of Plenty. That's a common. Okay, okay. We can. Oh, dude, Rune Chant! Yeah, nice. I said I wanted to get a full rune chant. So let's do a quick comparison of the boxes. It does look like I got a two foil majestics. And I know, by the way, that this is not common. This is very hard to get because I've seen foil twinning blades that aren't the full art. So it's kind of like an extra, an extra thing. So we did get two foil majestics. One of them is this astounding twinning blade. And then for the rest of them, we did get a, you know, cold steel, and then the rest of these are just kind of normal ones. So we got six, eight here, compared to the nine here. Huh, very interesting. Unless I missed a card somewhere, we got more Majestics in the first box. Um, huh, interesting. So we did get a cold foil, and we did get the Gorgonian Tome. Man, both of those boxes were excellent. Just look at this. Look, I don't want to, like, sell any of these other cards short, but, dude... So yeah, that's gonna be the video for today. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Check out my Patreon. I think I already talked about it. If you wanna look at my tiers, my flesh and blood tiers. And um, I'll see you next time for some more flesh and blood openings. We're gonna open up these other two boxes from the same case in the very next video. I'm probably not gonna have an intro. I'm probably just gonna jump right on into these. So that it's kind of gonna be like a consecutive thing. But yeah, I'll see you in a couple days for some more excellent flesh and blood content. We'll see you later.